Good morning, and welcome to Church on the Rock Online. I'm so happy you're joining us today. Before we get started in worship, I would like to share something with you. Did you know that the Bible tells us that it's important to guard our hearts and minds? And today, I'm finding that this is challenging. There are so many sources out there that we're not even sure if it's truth or lies. And these sources are breeding fear, worry, and doubt. Did you know that there's one thing that we know is truth? And that's God's word. Psalms 119 says the entirety of your word, O Lord, is truth. John 832 says that we will know his truth and his truth will set us free. Jesus even prays for us to know God's truth. In John 17, he asks God to teach us his word, which is truth. He declares the word is truth. So I want to encourage you today to fix your mind on what is truth, to fix your thoughts on what is truth. Do not allow those sources that are breeding fear and doubt and worry into your life. I want to encourage you to press into his truth. Read your Bible daily. If you maybe don't read your Bible, well, a good place to start is the book of John. Anywhere, just read his word and get it into your heart. Let's read Philippians 4, 6 through 9 together. It says, Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. And now, dear brothers, one final thing, fix your thoughts on what is true and what is honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Keep putting into practice all you've learned and received from me, everything you heard from me and saw me doing. Then the God of peace will be with you. So if you are battling fear versus peace today, I encourage you, God wants to give you his peace, but choose to fix your mind and your heart on the one thing that we can know is truth, that is entirely true, and dig into his word. Let's pray. Lord God, we just thank you for your truth. We thank you for your word, which we know is true. And we thank you, Lord, that you will guard us with your peace. And we ask you for your peace. We ask you to give us your peace as we trust and stand firm on your word. Lord God, I just thank you for this time of worship. I pray that we would come into your courts with thanksgiving and praise and give you the honor and the glory that you deserve. Lord, I thank you for your word that we are going to hear today. I pray that it would be rooted, that the seed of this word would be rooted in our hearts, Lord, and bring fruit and bear fruit in our lives. Lord, we thank you that we don't have to worry or fear because we know that you are true and your word is truth. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. <music> 